Can you tell us about any of the cons this series? Um, well, uh, we don't know all of them yet, but I mean, there are, uh, the ones that we do know about um, involve the fashion industry and uh, a money lending organisation, and um, both of whom are run by two fairly disreputable people. Um, and we organise quite a complicated uh, scams to get them um, to get uh, to get them to give us their money. Can you tell us anything about the marks? Uh, there's a mark. Um, Wendy Stanton is uh, the, the 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 boss of a fashion agency, played by Anna Chancellor, and uh, she. They're both rather greedy. And Georgina Althrop is. Um, the, the boss of a, of a money lending agency and uh, I mean they're fundamentally both greedy I mean that's the bottom line and I think that's what uh, that's what us as a gang recognize and um, know we can exploit is, is somebody else's greed and, um, and Wendy Snanton is a fairly ruthless boss of this fashion agency as I say and she gets fairly naive young girls to come down to London who want to be um, to Birmingham even, uh, no to London, Birmingham's the other one, sorry, uh, who want to be models and she, uh, she basically screws them for a lot of money, you know, they've got to give her a lot of money for their portfolio so she can make about a thousand quid out of each girl and then um, nothing comes of it. Uh, Georgina is um, a ruthless money lender who um, charges ridiculous rates of interest and uh, basically is fairly lacking, well not fairly, hugely lacking in compassion and humanity for anybody who might be in financial difficulty. So um, if people can't pay her back, she's, she's in there with the bailiffs. So they, they both deserve what they get, as ever. Do you think it's important that they're bad people that the gang target? Um, I think, well, I think ostensibly it's, I mean, there, there has to be a reason for targeting them and generally, I mean, there is a Robin Hood element to the show in as much, but we don't live in a forest, we live in a penthouse flat. Um, but I think there are, yeah, I mean, I think that, the, the, you know, the, the initial or the bottom line is that these people have to be worthy of being scammed. But I think what's been clever in the past is that we have made mistakes and somebody who maybe was initially worthy of um, being taken for a ride, it's transpired that um, we made a mistake and uh, we have in the past given the money back. Do you think we'll see more of Ash's personal life at all? I don't know. I mean, we did a bit in the early days. Um, he had a wife um, who was in hospital and uh, they tried to raise money to pay her hospital fees. Um, but that, that element sort of, there's been less of that sort of personal element, I think, up until the last couple of years when we've had an episode with um, uh, Emma and Sean's dad. Um, and I think this series, there's uh, a sort of an old love interest of Emma comes to the fore and makes her question what she's doing. And, and I think, you know, it's a, it's a fine balance because you don't want to get into too much to get into a sort of um, a totally personal thing because it takes away from the, the sort of the, the whole hustle element of the show. So it's, um, it is a fine balance to achieve. But I think it's a good, it's a good element to have because it just makes people think of it. It just stops it from being, you know, clever, clever. It just makes it a little bit more thoughtful, perhaps. And what's your favourite con from the series been? From this series, we've only done two. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the others are yet. Um, but I think, uh, I mean, I quite like, you know, playing a lot of different characters. In, and in the first episode of this series, you know, you get to play an official at the American Embassy, um, rather um, a sort of goofy toff who's inherited a lot of money but can't get his hands on it and stuff like that. And... Uh, you know, which is very different to Ash, because Ash is fairly enigmatic, fairly sort of, you know, down to earth, not a great talker, but a great doer. Um, so it's nice to, to sort of um, go away from that and play these characters that are so different from, from Ash, but always come back to Ash, at the, you know, at the end.